What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> day is it? The date? 12, May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? Uh this is a house where no one should live. She was my aunt. Heart of gold. But no one is ever alone. So House came out in 1986 and it has been 35 years since this film came out and I wanted to see if it still holds up or not and I guess it does right because I do like this film basically a film about a haunted house a man dealing with loss of grief with not only his son his wife and his aunt and him dealing with the PTSD and trauma from the Vietnam War with those things combined it kind of begs a question it messes with reality for a bit because he goes to where well, the film opens up with this old house there's this grocery boy he's calling out Miss Hooper's name but she committed suicide police comes in one and then we meet our character mr cobb and he's a writer very famous writer everyone loves him one but he acknowledges it doesn't make him happy so he goes back to his aunt's house and supposedly in a flashback it made his son disappear and well, before i even move on the house itself i like and just the concept of this movie the house itself warping reality and time i like that a bit because i was a bit confused at first like, i was like it's a haunted house right it, it is but man it's like it does that but pretty well just this house manipulating and warding like just like time travel shenanigans and like just messing with people's mind and them see stuff it's blends the line between reality what's reality and what's not there's multiple times where the movie does get me but i was like oh god damn it that didn't happen all right movie got me he just says go to this house after a huge book signing and immediately starts experiencing weird shit and you know he questions it at first but it's like nah while he's there he you know we get flashbacks to when him and his wife were together and both him and his wife are apart they're divorced you know he's watching his son and whatnot working for his aunt's garden and he just disappears sees him in the pool goes in there but doesn't see him he just disappears he tries to admit at the cops and they don't believe him so I don't think it states I'm assuming this is like the catalyst to making both of them getting a divorce I assume reason why they just kind of went their separate ways basically and then while staying in the house he's also trying to write his new book about the Vietnam War his experience during the Vietnam War and then we get to flashbacks of him and his war buddies just kind of messing around when he go to the flashbacks of the war I'm like so what's the point of all this I mean I get it right he's writing his book and he's having a hard time because he has to rethink about all these things that cause his trauma and PTSD and whatnot and so it's like I get it but it's like there's nothing to them maybe I'm just missing it because again my first time watch but maybe i'm just missing this film or missing like the point of those war you know shots were until the very end because it does come back these are cool you know these are fine just a bunch of war vets and buddies some of them die but like okay one's like the big hungry dude one's the asshole mr cobb is the, the central one right he's the one that's got his head straight okay sure those were fine to me i do like all the shenanigans from the neighbors like his neighbor harold who turns out to be kind of like this creepy neighbor but turns out hey he's a fan of his writing and he comes in his house to have like dinner with him and claims to help him kill this raccoons raccoon being as this like creature that we see throughout the film is a cool practical effect and most of the monsters and creatures that come out of this house look cool except for when another like woman and his son like comes to his house he has a baby's his son which is parallel to his own son and wife and then these puppets by the way puppet looking creatures try to get him that's the only time where i was like all right that looks kind of dumb because they're clearly puppets but then they have to like grab these two humans but it's like this is looks weird that's the only part only creature where i was like oh, okay it took me out of it because it looks dumb it looks like a bunch of little, little puppets just dragging him up but either way Harold, he's a funny guy. I thought, oh no, the creepy, weird neighbor fan. But no, he actually tried to be a fun character. I was like, I like Harold. Man, I wish he was more in the movie. But I think he was just in the right amount, or else he would have overstayed his welcome. When Harold and Cobbs have like that dinner scene, they do break up. Like, you know, maybe Cobb is just crazy. You know, he's like seeing all these things and whatnot. But Harold's just like, hey man, you just experienced war, losing your son, your wife, and your aunt. There's a perfectly logical reason as to why you're going crazy. And they do bring that up, which sort of adds on like to the whole reality thing, where it's like, is he seeing? things or he's you know, like maybe he's crazy you know it, it really plays with that yeah and i really like that and then supposedly his wife shows up in the house and then the wife turns to the creature and he shoots his creature but then it turns out he shot his wife and it's like okay is this reality or not and then her decides to call the cops obviously and then in the very tense moment or i guess section of or sequence he has to hide his body somewhere of his wife supposedly his wife and so when the cops come by called by harold he kind of has to like lie to her face so it's a really like scary intense scene to be like he's hide his body without the cops knowing. and one of the cops by the way is 
Rufus from Supernatural. We get a Supernatural character in here. Yes. I saw the actor. I was like, hey, that's Rufus from Supernatural. Your boy, Rufus. And then there's more flashbacks to the Venom. More, more just creature messing with him. There's a cool like mirror thing where he has to go into like the mirror hole and like search for his son. I thought that was like really done well, even though it was like, you know, how does this work? But you know what? It doesn't matter. That house is a warp in reality. It really doesn't matter at all. And then by going warps and realities and whatnot, he decides and finally saves his son from this cage that he's in. He swims out through the swim pool and whatnot, go back to his house. And turns out he finds Big Ben. the guy from the war of flashbacks big ben and at first when i saw that i was like this is weird leading up to this but then the more i thought about this part more like you know maybe this whole thing is manipulates sort of people's guilt or regrets because there's a whole part in the war flashback where he, he could have killed them put it out of his misery but he couldn't do it so then a skeleton version of big ben who by the way looks fantastic practically it looks cool and he comes back and say like you know you could have get the job done and what i'm like is this house manipulating like people's guilt and regrets in life that's what i'm assuming i hope i'm right on that because he regrets not i guess feels bad for not you know put him out of his misery so in a weird way this house is being good or just making people face their guilt basically i don't know that might not even be the case but that's what i thought about his fight big ben with the sun going around on one he like ripped off his arm try to beat him with, but then he just puts it back on and, and i was gonna say something else but i completely forgot so that's all i'm gonna mention you know there's more i didn't write any of my notes but the end of the you know the of it is that in the end he's not afraid no more he's not afraid to let go of this guilt and he's willing to beat mentally and physically big ben and he does and then you know they go out you got harold and neighbors just kind of like worrying me like what the hell's you know going on here and then his real wife shows up so that whole wife killing thing again that shit tricked me i was like oh crap all right but that was an actual like creature or embodiment of a creature in his mind because of the house his wife hugs his son he looks at the camera Why not? Did he look at the camera he looks at the camera he smiles and then roll credits and that's a movie and i thought this is a good time i like this movie house 1986 is a good film deals with post-traumatic disorder with you know dealing with what happens to people after war regrets and and why not things you see in war based that will mess you up basically while also dealing with loss with you know personal ties to your family getting over the loss of your aunt and why not and your son in this film he just still doesn't know what happens to him but he then gets him back it really does into that and it's good but i don't love it I, th I don't know why but maybe it's just because i don't know like scenes they didn't do it for me they were just kind of there right they were fine everything else i don't know i don't think this is an amazing movie but it's just a fun time and i guess because i've never heard of this movie like the only time i've heard it is in the horror like communities and stuff but but to everyone else i'm assuming that not a lot of people know this film in general or this series because like three other sequels so house 35 years later it's still a damn good and fun and entertaining movie and uh go watch it it's still pretty good so that's it for house don't know what episode this is this episode seven Shit, i don't even know i actually don't know but that's it for me it's a fun movie this has been the road so far and thank you for watching <laughs>